let's be break it and right here so we are talking about the company which was badly struggling a year ago yes i'm talking about none other than huawei well a year ago huawei was launching its high-end smartphones in only 4g yes in the era of 5g huawei was bound to release its high-end smartphones in 4g category and i'm talking about a company which was basically a biggest provider of 5g components and they were not able to use 5g in their own smartphones just because of the ban anyway we all know huawei successfully managed to get 5g back as the latest Huawei Mate 60 Pro is having 5G chipset, and now it seems something bigger than that is also in the pipeline. So first of all, Huawei just launched the world's first 5.5G equipment solution. Well, 5.5G is also known as 5GA, which is an advanced version of 5G. Well, at present, it will take some time for mobile communication technology to iterate from 5G to 6G, during that transition period, 5.5G has high hopes. In simple words though, 5.5G is a next generation upgrade of the 5G network. According to Huawei, 5.5G could deliver 10 times the network speed than the current generation 5G network. All this means the network speed could reach up to 10 gigabytes and uploading speed up to 1 gigabytes, which is totally phenomenal and Huawei will be the very first company to introduce it into the market. The next Huawei P-series smartphone, most probably the Huawei P70 series, will have 5.5G network instead of the simple 5G. Guys, just think how time passes. Well, a company which was not able to have simple 5G and was launching 4G smartphones is becoming the world's first to introduce the advanced version of the current network and not only that, the latest ranking statistics for the top 10 5G pattern owners revealed Huawei as the top player and the most dominant 5G innovator and licensor holder in the world by 2023. In the pattern index 2023, Huawei ranked first in the total number of 5G pattern family, Qualcomm comes second, Samsung on third, the rest of the tally follows Ericsson, Nokia, and LG Electronics for 4th, 5th, and 6th places respectively. Meanwhile, ZTE, Oppo, NTT, and Interdigital follows for the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th places accordingly. But Huawei became the world's first in the ranking. See ya! What do you think about it? And are you ready for the next 5.5G network? Well, do let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.